The time is 14 minutes to nine. Now, plan to reduce the number of people killed or seriously injured on London's roads by 40% by the year 2020 is launched today. Uh, 629 motorcyclists were involved in accidents in the capital in 2012. 20% of all road accidents that year. Now, earlier we spoke to Leon Daniels, who's the head of surface transport at TfL. There'll be much more enforcement uh, because we do know that quite a lot of these uh, accidents that take place with motorcyclists are as a result of excess speed or, or not complying with other, other traffic laws. And we're also going to work very hard with the industry and also with the boroughs to make sure that uh, motorcyclists are visible, making sure that they're bringing the right uh, equipment making sure that uh, uh, we're using the very latest from technology and in particular uh, we're working with industry to see if we can't make motorcycles themselves much more visible. There's some things that we can do with the lights on motorbikes to make them look bigger. Well, joining us now is Mark Yaffe from Croydon, who runs four motorcycle training schools around South London. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Paul. So do you welcome these new safety plans, this initiative? Absolutely. Anything that we can do to make motorcycling safer um, in London is, is a real bonus. And uh, a lot of the proposals that they're looking at uh, to, to improve um, not just enforcement of, of motorcyclists, but also looking at the uh, road layouts and junction layouts uh, can only be of a benefit for us. What do you think of the standard of motorcycling in London? I suppose it's like everything, isn't it? Some some good ones, some bad apples. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of really good professional uh, riders out there, but there's also a lot of people that um, their their levels of riding uh, could be drastically improved. Uh, I think that um, a number of the um, uh, of certainly the scooter riders um, could could do with some more advanced training um, and certainly looking further ahead looking uh, for, for, for vision as well trying to avoid some of the uh, accidents that, that occur um, the, ma the majority of the the quite serious accidents uh, are mainly involving right turn violations of some sort so right turn uh, violations by other road users you mean not necessarily by other road users but by most cyclists themselves but any uh, the right turn is fundamentally the most dangerous uh, turn that you can make on a motorcycle so if we can uh, raise education raise training standards to to make sure that people are are aware of, of, of things like the right turn violations um, and, and also try and see what else we can do with, with the strategy for motorcycling in London. And one of the big things Leon also mentioned was um, speed is also an issue in a lot of fatal accidents and that motorcyclists should slow down, just adhere to the speed limit. Uh, it, it's certainly uh, speed used inappropriately is definitely dangerous um, there's no doubt about it but uh, there's a lot of uh, you know, it's not just the speed that they're going at it's the positions they're in it's where on the road you are it's how you position yourself not only for visibility but for safety Dry, riding defensively, um, all of those sorts of techniques um, improve your improve the the way that that we work within uh, riding bikes. Now, one of the things that we talked about that Leon was saying is essentially that he says motorbikes my, motorbikers need to be seen. Now, you and I know because we're both I'm from a motorbiking family. I've got motorbike I've got friends who are motorbikers, and the one thing that they generally don't really want to do is wander around in high vis jackets. They just don't. They don't want to do that. No, absolutely, and 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 making people visible is is a really good important part of it a lot could be done with lighting technology um triangular lights for example help so have have a headlight and then two small lights down uh, on the forks maybe to make, uh, to to make, make it to look make bigger. a triangle that can make it look bigger um we're having a little bit of a battle with the new uh, daylight running lights for cars because now the the uh, rules have changed for daylight running lights for cars of course it's making lights uh, on motorcycles less visible because cars are now uh, running with daylight running lights um, so by differently positioning lights and there's a lot of technology going into to looking at how how the lighting works uh, can make you more visible and what about helmets because i suppose that's the other thing because of course the helmet of course being the highest point um, maybe they could make those a lot more visible uh, yeah, I mean, helmets is, is a legal requirement. It's the only part of, of motorcycle clothing that is a legal requirement. I think that if we were to increase 
the amount of pr protective equipment that, that the motorcyclists generally had to wear, uh, that, that would help. But one of the, the biggest things that I think that will help the, the casualty rates come down is for TfL to start seeing motorcycling as part of the solution of our um, problems rather than wielding a big stick to try and cut down on what we've got. Such it, as what? To do what? <laughs> to, uh, in cities where the uh, motorcycle population is, is more like 10% uh, rather than our 2.3% in London, cities like Rome and, and Paris, motorcycle accidents are pretty much uh, eliminated. So by, by what do? By doing what though? By increasing the number of bikes on the road, by increasing the number of powered two-wheeler traffic on the road, the awareness of car drivers is, is drastically increased. So maybe the solution to, to reducing the casualties isn't necessarily the, the stick wielding that uh, some of these proposals are, are coming up with, but encompassing uh, motorcycling as part of the solution to London by increasing the number of bikes on the road, that will actually reduce casualties significantly. More carrots, fewer sticks. More carrots, fewer sticks. Thank you very much for joining us. Mark Yaffe there from Phoenix Motorcycle Training. He's based in Croydon. If you want to contact him, it's mark at teachmetoride.co.uk. It's now 8.53. It's The Breakfast Show with me, Paul Ross and Penny Smith. Uh, now, we're asking you for your thoughts about Boris Johnson today. Would you like him to stay as London Mayor or become an MP? That's what David Cameron wants him to do.